Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to join a valley at the peak of a roof. So first of all, you want to take your valley pan and find the center. And the way I do that is just slide it back and forth until it's sitting in the center of the valley. This one is already in position. I've got it positioned in the center in the bottom. Now all I have to do is position it in the top and then I'll put a screw on each side like that to hold it in place. And then from there, I can slide it up and down and fit it to the other valley. Sometimes it's also helpful just to mark beside the valley where you want it. All right, so here's some essential tools that you will need for this process. You'll for sure want a left-handed tin snips and a right-handed tin snips and a pencil. And we use an impact driver and these pan head square head screws to fasten our trim down. Cock gun and a handbrake. Okay, so one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is take your right-handed snips and cut down on the left side about six inches and then cut this back parallel with the peak of this ridge line. Next, you can cut the left belly pan off roughly even with the top of where the right pan is gonna be. So you can attach this side pretty far up, but I only attach it about halfway up on this side so you can lift the pan up on this side. And then slide this pan underneath until you're directly underneath the, the pan on this side and then you can side it across and you can mark right where the, where the two points meet here. And then at that point, you can cut in to your point here. And then this can get cut off and then cut down the top of the W to here and the top of the W to here. Side of the W. If you're not sure if your mark is perfectly in the right spot, you can leave your cut back a quarter inch from the mark until you bring your pan up from the other side and then you can see if you need to cut it further down or if you cut too far. Hopefully you didn't cut too far. So at this point, we've got it in position here. We've got our angle right here, um, but you can see over here, we're about a quarter inch from our mark. So the valley needs to go down that way another quarter inch. So we'll just make this cut back and this cut back another quarter inch. So the goal is to get all of these three points to perfectly match up which we've done pretty well. So at this point, we can go ahead and mark. We have this marked where the back of this hem is, so we can mark that and then we'll cut this off and this will get end, will end up getting slid into the hem, underneath the hem there. Make a mark here. Now you want to check these and make sure they fit.
Bend this one over the top, and this one down over top of that. Just like that. Now we're ready to pull it back out, caulk it all, and then put it back together. Okay. All right, so what I like to do is make sure there's caulk underneath this corner here. And then that's, I marked that line there, so I like to stay out from that line a little bit and put a good bead. And then I like to fill that W all the way up, all the way up the, so that when this end runs into here, it completely seals that off. Cock on both sides of these as well. So I like to put some underneath, right at the point. The biggest thing is making sure you're all the way down against to it so that corner is completely sealed off. And once you have it up in place, attack it on this side. So we got this side tacked, we got this side tacked, we got everything cocked. I'm gonna put this side down first. I got caulk all underneath there. Push that side down. I got caulk on the bottom side of this one. I'll we'll push this one around, take a black roofing screw or whatever color metal you're using. Get a point here, make sure there's plenty there. Put some around your screw, protect the washer a little bit, leave it up around that, that point there. This right here and this right here is your only weak spots and they're pinholes, but I always like to put a little extra caulk on them just to make sure never gonna leak. This caulk that we use is GSO 2300 tripolymer sealant. It's clear. So far we've had really good success with it. It's a super strong, super good caulk for metal roofing applications and we love it. Bend that around. So there it is. Got it all sealed here. Got it sealed here. So if there ever was any ice damming or anything, it's all sealed off here, all the way around. And probably this will never even see water. Our ridge cap here will end up coming in and coming right across all the way into here. So there's a good chance most of this will never see water, but it's always good to go the extra mile in valleys. So we like to completely seal everything off. So there it is. One thing I want to mention about our valley flashing is you may have never seen a valley flashing quite like this. It has a hem uh, built right into the valley for our standing seam panels. And we hem our sheets with the angle of the valley and that just hooks right into that hem there. Just like that. Mm -hmm.